hello and welcome to Tradeflow Television. Bringing you valuable analysis and actionable intelligence through the global commodity markets. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. Australia launched a formal appeal to the World Trade Organization on Wednesday seeking a review of China's decision to impose hefty tariffs on imports of Australian barley. Acknowledging the appeal may take years to be resolved, Trade Minister Simon Birmingham told reporters Australia had little choice after Beijing imposed anti-dumping and anti-subsidy duties in May totaling 80.5% on Canberra's barley, effectively stopping a billion-dollar trade in its tracks. China's liquefied natural gas imports could hit a record in December on strong industrial demand and a continued gasification push, trade sources said. The world's second-largest LNG importer after Japan is on track to import its highest monthly volume since December 2019, Refinitiv ship tracking data showed. December's imports may set a new record, with domestic gas consumption for early December up 20% year-on-year, Two sources familiar with the Chinese gas market told Reuters. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. The United States on Wednesday imposed sanctions on companies based in China and the United Arab Emirates, accusing them of supporting the sale of Iranian petrochemicals as Washington increases pressure on Tehran in the closing days of President Donald Trump's term. The U.S. Treasury Department said in a statement it had blacklisted the four entities for facilitating the export of Iranian petrochemical products by Trillions Petrochemical Co. Limited, which was hit with sanctions by Washington earlier this year. Also targeted in the move was Vietnam Gas and Chemicals Transportation Corporation over its connection with significant transactions for the transport of petroleum products from Iran, the Treasury said. Asian refining profits for gas oil have hit four minus one-half month highs on recovering demand led by China and India, though analysts warn that rising shipments from those and other exporters may curb further gains. Refining margins, also known as cracks, for the benchmark 10 ppm gas oil grade in Singapore have surged 42% in the last month, but remain 54% weaker than their historical average for this time of year, Refinitive data showed. Revived transportation and industrial activity in China and India since September have helped boost gas oil market sentiment, curbing Indian fuel exports and tightening regional stocks. Moving on to metal price moves. Copper prices rose towards eight-year highs on Wednesday as optimism about strong demand in top consumer China was reinforced by falling inventories, a lower dollar and the rollout of COVID-19 vaccines in some major economies. Benchmark copper on the London Metal Exchange had gained 0.7% to $7,837 a tonne at 1700 GMT. The metal used widely in the power and construction industries hit $7,973.50 last Friday, its highest since February 2013. The London Metal Exchange said on Wednesday it will forge ahead with plans to support sustainable metal production starting with the rollout by mid-2021 of a digital register to store carbon-related details of aluminium. The world's oldest and largest market for industrial metals, which has been consulting with industry over how to support a transition to a low-carbon economy, is starting with aluminium because power is a major component, sometimes up to 40% in the smelting process. However, aluminium is also important for energy transition, including in the auto industry where it is valued for its lightweight properties. Finally, we have the most recent news on the financial market. Major U.S. cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase said on Wednesday its retail and professional-focused platforms were hit by connection problems and network congestion, as Bitcoin smashed through $20,000 to its highest level ever. California-based Coinbase said on its website at 1541 Greenwich Mean Time it had implemented a fix to address congestion issues on its retail platform Coinbase.com and was monitoring the situation. That is all for today's news on the commodity market. Stay tuned to Trade Flow TV as we continue to provide you with more updates. You can also follow us on Twitter at TradeFlowTV1 which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop.